All right, so welcome back. We're going to have an interesting discussion today. So we're going to speak on the top three dating tips for Daniel Scorpio. Top three tips for Daniel Scorpio, says the thumbnail. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio related, and the expansion of consciousness. So today we are going to unravel the mind of the Scorpio, them weirdos of the Zodiac, that people just seem to become obsessed about or hate with their guts and with the rage of their ancestors. They despise them or totally love them. Such is the way of the Scorpio. So let's get into this. You got that Scorpio man or you got that Scorpio lady on your eye. Somehow you managed to get a date with them or began dating them and you didn't even know how. It just started off as something innocent. It just started off as nothing. And quickly you found it to be a deep attachment like no other. Is this the love of my life? What happened? You got hit with a Scorpio artist. So pay attention. I'm going to help you navigate your way through this seemingly incurable illness once you catch it it's like you can never just get rid of it Sh- might have you messed up for years <laughs> so okay top three dating tips for scorpio number one i'm gonna say number one is probably the most important and anybody who's dating a scorpio or has dated one or is one can confirm number one you better Expect to be super, super patient with this pain in the ass of a person. Expect the unexpected, but also expect to just never ever really know how they're thinking, how they're feeling, or anything at all, and wonder for about 50% of the time if this person even likes you or doesn't like you. (laughs) <laughs> patience is a virtue they say patience is a must with a scorpio because really you may have no idea where the relationship is going for the rest of the relationship even when it ends or begins you still may be a little confused such is the way of the scorpio always unconsciously confusing why because scorpio people They really have trouble expressing their feelings, even though they feel everything. So they have these intense desires and feelings. They just don't know how to communicate it. They just expect you to be able to to, do, do, uh, do everything. So, such is the way of the Scorpio. One, I would say you need to be extremely patient. And remember, I always say this little trick. There's a little trick to opening up the Scorpio. It's not rushing. It's not rushing, because remember, Scorpios are kind of intense and volatile and extremely, extremely like, huh, what'd you say? (laughs) Scorpio mode, stinger on, claws ready. You just get past them by being kind. You know, ask questions around here and there. Ask them, what do you think of this dress? What do you think of this? I like when you do that, what do you think of this? Just very subtle, and you'll see that the need for patience will slowly dissolve. And you'll be able to penetrate that hard barrier. So very easy. Very easy. I'm, 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 I'd say that in almost every video. Because that's really all you gotta do. So number one. Expect to be needing to be extremely patient. Yeah. Number two, expect, (laughs) I don't know if I should say this. Expect the Scorpio to want to know everything about you and you'll probably know nothing about them. So expect them to, so you have to be a little comfortable being an open book and have to play verbal judo and verbal chess with this person because you really have to be able 
to communicate in such a way where you do not let a Scorpio walk all over you. Because they will, if you let them. So expect them to want to know everything about you. And you'll probably know nothing at all about them. So you gotta have a little pushback when dealing with a Scorpio. Because they're gonna find out everything about you and want to. Even, who's that guy you dated? What's it? Uh, what was it? Uh, did you do that? Or who's it? This? No, what's it about this? What about this? Are you sure about this? Blah, 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 blah. They're gonna have their own little double standard. So expect that. And my tip for you is, say, is uh, you can't be like a little flower when dealing with these people. You gotta have a little, mm. So, oh, you're trying to get to know about everything about me? Why don't I get to know everything about you, huh? Mr. Scorpio, Mrs. Scorpio, what is this, psychological warfare? Yeah, it is psychological warfare. That's how the Scorpio gets to know you through dating. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what to expect and some tips that will help you along the way. I know they may be, the Scorpio woman may be extremely beautiful and you're like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty, I just wanna have sex with her, I just wanna blah blah blah, wow, she's so sexy. Or that Scorpio man, you'd be like, wow, look at him, he makes me so weak, oh yeah. But watch out, watch out, expect these things, expect these things, expect these things. Unless you just like him so much, you just like Mr. Scorpio so much, you should let him do everything and take the lead, and you're that type of woman, go for it. I have nothing against that. But be sure you trust him and know he's evolved Scorpio. You can trust him with his leadership. Can you trust him with his leadership? Can you trust him? That means that's some damn good energy right there. You know that type of energy that makes you go, hmm? That makes a woman go, yep, I trust him with my life. I'll do anything for him, and I'll vow with him, and I'll roll with him, whatever he wants, I'm going. If you got a man like that, maybe these tips, you know, if he's that man that does it for you, maybe these tips won't suffice. But, you know, let's not, I digress. Maybe I gotta make another video on that. <laughs> and number three, number three tip for Daniel Scorpio. <laughs> You have to develop your telepathic skills. Telepathy. You know what? You can't read minds? You're not telepathic? I don't know if Daniel Scorpio is for you. You can't read their mind? You can't read the language of energy? Can you catch the vibes? Is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you need to be a superhuman like uh, Rogue from X-Men. Is that her name? The ginger haired girl? Or uh, the guy in the wheelchair who can do like chair stuff, right? He's like, Professor X, is that his name? He can, Jay, it is me speaking to you. What do you want for breakfast today? Ham and egg cheese sandwich, motherfucker. So it's not just about, it's not just about being telepathic to that extent. But number three tip for Danny Scorpio, you need to be, as they call, catching the vibes on the streets. If you're like a person that's oblivious to everything, then I highly recommend you train yourself and get closer to your intuition and your gut. Because number one thing with Daniel Scorpio is you have to trust your gut. Or number three thing I should say, you need to have that energy reading skill. Because a lot of the things they say and do, it's never really upfront because you're talking to a person who functions underneath in the underworld. They, the Scorpio race, whatever you call them, Zodiac, they really live underneath the surface. So their form of communication is underneath the surface. Basically, you need to catch their vibe, you need to catch their energy to really get what they're saying. And then somebody will say, Why can't they just say this? Why can't they just say that? Blah, da, 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 da. It's so annoying. I know it is, isn't it? It's the way they are. It's the way they incarnated into this planet. It really is. Are some of them going to be a little different? Yes. But are most of them going to be like this? Probably 95 to 99% of them. Well, all this will all apply to most Scorpios. What you mean? You can't read minds? You can't catch the energy wavelength? Can you trust your gut? Is what I'm saying. Can you trust your gut and feel the energy and read the energy? When you can do that, 
that's going to be your most helpful thing for dealing with the Scorpios. Because most of what they say, they communicate really through energy. What they say isn't really what they say. What they say is really what they say when they communicate with the energy of what they say is attached to what they say. You feeling me here? If you notice my channel, it's almost all like that. <laughs> Actually, I've been more blunt than almost every Scorpio that you'll probably ever meet. But even then, you are most likely still scratching your head and going, Hmm, why? Because the Scorpio people there are from a different planet. They live in the void. And the void is just eternal darkness and emptiness and infinity. So the more I express to you the void, the more you see that the deeper the void gets and you just go, huh. It's like Alice in Wonderland jumping down the rabbit hole, but the rabbit hole just keeps on going down. So she never really lands, she just keeps going down. And there's more information and there's more things to understand. And it's just more to comprehend. And then it goes, man, I don't know if I ever want to deal with this again. Or, I'm so far and deep, I just want to stay here forever. Thus is dating a Scorpio. Enjoy.